Can you just tell me who you are? Yes, of course. Rekta, this is Anton. Anton, I'm the uh, choreographer, performer, and uh, artistic director of dance at the moment. Julie, just that. Uh, director. From? From Shorty, uh, freelancer. Uh, I'm Yarek, uh, I'm dancer, choreographer, and uh, course director of Foot and Dance. I'm Christina, artistic director of Foot and Dance Group, and Foot and Dance School. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, I just very quickly tell you a little bit about where I'm coming from. I'm in the dance city in Newcastle. So it's a it's a dance house. Um, I have been uh, the chief executive there for eight years. I'm not a dancer. Восемь лет он руководит центром Dance City. Он не танцор. But I um, have been working in dance for twenty five years. Двадцать пять лет я работаю в разных сферах. Hard to believe, I know. Трудно в это поверить. So we're quite a big organization at Dance City. We turn over 1.8 million pounds. That's 66, 67 million each year. Uh, we are the biggest dance house outside of London. We have five studios and a theater. Yeah. And we do three different things. We have um, community engagement. I'm not sure. Three interesting things. The first is the attraction of local community. So people come to the region, from around. It's amateur dancers. We have 86 classes a week for these people. I think it's similar to what we do. We have 86 classes a week for these people. And these are the people that, are people that are just enjoy dancing. They want to get fit, meet new people. Have a social experience. And we have about forty-five thousand attendances at those classes each year. Yeah. Uh, and each day we have free class for professional dance artists. Which is very important for the and very important to keep that community together. Our job is, uh, so we are a charity, not for profit. Yeah, and our role is to service the whole of the northeast of England, which is actually, uh, it's quite a big area, but only 2.5 million people. Нам наша цель обслуживать северо-восток Англии, и это довольно большая территория, но не так много людей всего два с половиной миллиона. So we have the biggest program of professional performance work outside of London. У нас самая большая подготовительная программа в мире. Thirty-eight performances last year, and we program small to mid-scale companies, so ranging from one to twelve dancers. Our stage is 15 by 12 meters, but our audience is only 250. So we program work. It's good. Yeah, perfect because small audience number can all see. Perfect. Это очень классно, потому что it's like this. Амфитеатр он был очень удобный для нас. Это full dance. Yeah, perfect. It's purpose-built dance building. Это специально сделанное для танца здание. Um, we program work from mainly the UK, but sometimes from Europe also, like two or three times each year, work from Europe. В основном мы приглашаем компании британские, но иногда, правда, очень редко компании из Европы. Um, we also make money on our dance program, which is really unusual because in the UK, usually dance lose money. But I will tell you how in this seminar, how we are finding audience to make sure we 
make money out of our dance program. So this, this seminar is about finding an audience for professional dance performance, not really for finding audience to go to classes. But actually, um, some of the same techniques are like, totally transferable. And we use a lot of the same um, techniques in our program and our classes. They're mm -hmm. transferable. Необычно с этой программы в нашей организации, потому что мы также зарабатываем деньги, потому что в основном в этой сфере все очень сильно затрудняется, но наша организация также зарабатывает деньги, и сегодня наша лекция как раз о том, как привлекать аудиторию на спектакль и перформансы, но не о том, как привлекать ее на танцевальные классы, хотя мне кажется, что они приблизительно одинаковые стратегии используются для того, чтобы это было. So today is not a debate about audiences. Um, we're not going to delve into the conversation of whether an audience is desirable um, and in what context that audience is attending. So we're assuming, for the purposes of today, that, that you are wanting an audience, that you want people to come and see your work or yeah. to attend whatever, um, uh, wherever that event is. We assume that you want people to come and see it. То есть сегодня наш предмет нашей дискуссии не будет то, нужны ли э, артисту зрители или нет. Это он говорит, я знаю, что, что он с несколькими людьми общался уже здесь, которые сказали, да нам вообще все равно, артист свободен делать то, что он хочет, и он не должен думать о аудитории. Поэтому он говорит, сегодня мы говорим об этом. Сегодня мы говорим в контексте того, что давайте будем говорить о том, что нам всем нужна аудитория, и давайте подумаем, как это I say this because I talk to artists. I, I explained here yeah, why, why you said this. <laughs> because some artists say that they don't care about the audience. Yeah. I mean, uh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We care. Of course, me too. Um, but not, not for money, but for my, my job is not about... I do my job not to make money, but to provide artistic experience for the dancers and the dance creator and an audience to all share in an experience. And hopefully we can make enough money to make sure that it is equal balance. Mm -hmm. So we, that next year and next year and next year we are still in existence to keep having that experience. So my work is not just to be a commercial commercial and make a business on it, but to create this artistic conversation between the artist and the audience so that the second and the third will be interesting. So this isn't going to be a lecture uh, so much as a discussion. So I think it's the same lecture, which is discussion. Yeah, um, I know I'm talking a lot right now, but we're going to have some discussion in a minute. Um, so this is about how we can find audiences and maximize our relationship with them. Это о том, как находить аудиторию нашей лекции, дискуссии, и о том, как максимально улучшить коммуникацию с ними. So, as we go, I will be asking you to talk about some of the um, audience development ideas that you have and that you have used, and to comment on some of the ones that I have used and other people. I have some of their uh, flyers, you say flyers? Yeah. 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 Um, and we'll talk about them as well. Я предложу вам несколько своих стратегий, о которых мы можем поговорить, и вы также сможете рассказать о своих каких идеях, и я также покажу и расскажу вам, как мы работаем с аудиторией. So I'm not going to tell you anything today that you don't already know. Я ничего вам не скажу такого, чего вы еще не знаете. I'm just hopefully bringing together all of your thoughts in one kind of hour and a half. Мы постараемся собрать просто вместе все наши идеи, которые у нас есть. And the, the things that I'm going to talk about may seem like hard work, which may be some of the reasons why you're not doing some of them right now. But um, that hard work is worth it for the long-term gain of having uh, lots of interest in your work next year, the year after, the year after. Некоторые из этих стратегий довольно тяжелые, и они приносят результаты только в каком-то дальнем будущем, но их нужно делать именно для того, чтобы выстраивать и выстраивать длительные отношения. Because for an artist, there is nothing worse than spending a lot of your time, your effort, your energy, creating work which you really like and you want people to see, but you've spent all your time making the work and no time in thinking, how am I going to get people to see the work, that you present the work, and this is empty. The work may be... Тратить yeah. много времени на создание работы, но, к сожалению, часто не остается совсем времени на yeah. то, чтобы 
привлекать людей и собирать. Or vice versa. It, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah, or vice versa, of course. <laughs> If you spend all your time here and you make crap bad work. Если ты все время проводишь для работы с аудиторией, то ты иногда делаешь плохую работу. Должно быть сбалансировано. But for an artist, of course, um, having, I'm intentionally not using the word marketing because we're not talking about marketing. Yes, we're talking about we're talking about audiences. It's uh, maybe it's semantics, but I'm intentionally trying to separate marketing and audience. Okay. So uh, we call it engagement in the UK. So it's about finding people that are interested in you, in you and your work. Yeah. So at Dance City, we don't do marketing. We communicate and engage with people. Yeah, and we listen to them when they feed back to us. So it's not like marketing, like here. Yeah. No. We have conversation, dialogue, and we listen, and they write their feedback, and we uh, read and react. Yeah. So, this is not a science. And I'm not a magician. <laughs> um, I'm just giving you some tools and some ideas um, to think about. Um, and uh, I will use my expertise to uh, and my passion for audiences. My my personal passion is to bring audiences and dance together to share an experience. Я просто использую свою страсть и любовь к этому для того, чтобы создать это для того, чтобы Так, 
issue. You can have people who, who make management but not dancers, who just doing the management and like marketing you know. and audience development. Yeah. Like you. <laughs> you don't have people like me. No. You, yeah, we don't. Well, have. All you no. play, we don't have people like you. We have four people who will become these. <laughs> but, but, but we want we are, to yeah, be dancers and choreographers. <laughs> But and directors, yeah. I, I think in the absolutely. I understand, but I guess if you don't have, I mean, I am employed, so you know, I'm paid to do this job. But um, but when you can't just wait until this happens, then you can so we have four people today who are going to maybe take the first few steps. Может быть, эти люди, которые сейчас здесь сидят, делают первые шаги. I mean, I'm sure you already knew loads of these things anyway. Наверное, you are all successful people already, so... Yeah. Successful people! Смотришь, точно не успехов. Well, you wouldn't be still working in dance if you weren't successful. Вы бы не работали до сих пор в танце или в театре, если бы вы не были успешными. I mean, it's hard. Yeah, even in the UK it's hard, so here I know I, I, I've been to Ukraine five times now. I understand that it's the dance world is very, very different. So today we're not we're not money. Money. We have a taxation uh, which uh, the government distributes to many, many organizations like. 750 organizations in dance, drama, music, theater, opera, ballet. Um, 750 organizations in Britain get the dotations for the dance world. And it's about uh, 1 billion pounds. <laughs> this is the difference. What you mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but of course, um, it, the art form is the same. No, no art form of any kind of art. And the and then the work to get a regular people interested in a difficult art form. I think we have to accept that dance to watch dance is a niche. 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 Yeah. So it's our job is to find the privilege for average for the people in a specific form of art. So today, uh, we're not talking about family and friends and other dancers. Мы не говорим сейчас о друзьях, членах семьи и других танцорах. If you can't get those people in to see your work, it's over. Если вы не можете даже этих людей привлечь к себе на работу, то все тогда уже никого вы не можете. Я стать вашей аудиторией. Но пока это вот только эти люди. At the moment, that's all we have. Yes, but I'm obviously I'm going to share this paper. Um, it's in English, but I guess Google yes, Translate yes, will provide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, so you can read it afterwards. Today is just more about uh, an introduction to some ideas. Я потом с вами поделюсь этими материалами. Не сегодня просто короткая презентация. Потом поделюсь, вот можете почитать и So. So I know this is not all easy, and you all are passionate about making work. But you want, if, if you want to make work that people see, I guess you have to have um, the beginnings of a dialogue with other people. Я понимаю, что вам больше нравится делать всем работу, но если вы хотите, чтобы их смотрели, то стоит начать также думать о диалоге с аудиторией. And you can't just have that conversation with audiences when you want to sell them something. И, и вы должны с ними общаться не только тогда, когда вы хотите им что-то продать. Yes. The conversation needs to be regular, ongoing. Это общение должно быть все время происходить, независимо от yeah. вашего. The product is here. Продукт вот там. Talk here and here and here and here. Product here and here and here. Product. То есть yeah. это общение постоянно происходит, коммуникация. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. The question, the theory is uh, quite uh, clear, but how to make it? What instrument? We talk about that. Uh, yeah. Absolutely, that's a, a very important question. Mm. So I will talk about some 
instruments, but also some techniques for today. также поговорим об инструментах и некоторых техниках, как это делать. Great. Um, so I have a question for you. Um, and it is in the context of why do you make work? I guess in the first instance we just said if you make work to show your friends and family or perhaps for the dancers your skills and ideas, that is wonderful. But that is not the seminar for today. What is not the same? Not the seminar for today. Ah, okay. Uh, if you do делаете работы только для там одна история, если вы делаете работу для своих друзей, там знакомых, родственников, хотите рассказать им ваши идеи, показать ваше мастерство, но это сегодня у нас не об этом. So I guess the question is, uh, why do you make your work? Важный вопрос. Это прямо сейчас вопрос к нам. Почему вы делаете то, что вы делаете? Что смысл? Somebody you can start. Может быть, ты начнешь с того, что расскажешь? Да, зачем это делать? Потому что я не нашла в качестве зрителя то, что я хочу. Когда ты не можешь это увидеть там, ты выходишь и хочешь это сделать. Это один из важных критериев. Because first is that as an audience member, she haven't found what she wants to see at the stage. And this is very important for her. To make something what she really like and she, she would want to see. That's a great start. That's a great start. Poet, poet, and yeah, and the, in the in the country in Ukraine there are many some cultures. И получается, что там где ну есть поэты, они в своей культуре бывают. The poets are very much isolated. You mean poets to write or poets to speak or both? Both. Поэты, которые пишут, или поэты, которые читают, они это и то и другое. Это и то и другое. But there are poets performers who write and then. Cool. Вот та проблема, почему у нас получается, мы только для своих выходим, потому что мы, нам, вот когда говорят мы, нам не важно, где сидите, это означает, что как раз мы постепенно закрываемся и только для своих. Одни приходят слушать для того, чтобы выйти и сказать. Это ужасно скучно. Это ужасно mm -hmm. Вот то же самое в танце, то же самое. Mm -hmm. да, mm -hmm. Сейчас просто мое, мое желание соединить несколько видов поэзии, драмы и танец. Yeah. So this is the it's also very very isolated group of people. It's only poets who come together and read the poetry to each other. And now her desire is to to connect. To make an interdisciplinary performance, so, so now she experiments with uh, movement, with uh, text, and with drama theater, trying to make this cool. multidisciplinary performance. Но вот когда я вышла из поэта, я вышла, вошла в вхожу в зону режиссеров театральных, и они совершенно не хотят слушать чего-то другого, кроме того, что им нужно, они своей культуре очень сложно пробиться. And when, the, when she started when she started communication with directors, it's again very isolated people, like group of people, and they don't direct like say, stage directors, theater directors. The creator or the manager? No, the, the creators. Okay. And she said they are also. It's quite difficult to find the way how to make something together because they saw it. From their point of view, the poets see from other points of view, and then she said, when there is a, the dancers, they also have their own vision, and the question is how to connect it. And also, by the way, on Sunday we will have our uh, we will have panel about this interdisciplinary ways of communication. We will have people from different art forms. So, communication. Uh, у нас самая большая проблема, мне кажется, вообще, я, я сейчас в голове год уже держу, почему так происходит, там работает Google Fest, там еще там есть какие-то попытки интердисциплинарных проектов, mm -hmm. да? 
Проблема в том, что все хотят высказаться, но никто не хочет послушать. To yeah. other people, so um, just be the creator, but not to communicate and create together. So uh, maybe I'm about to be controversial. So yeah, excuse me, not a controversial podcast. But I think that um, in gen, hopefully I have a, a enlightened audience here. Enlightened. Enlightened. Um, progressive. Ma, but I'm not sure if this progressive man story is just in the way. That's why. But it's not small in nature. As as uh, there are a few of us, that means that we are progressive. I think so. Yeah. Um, I think that dance is the um least generous art form. Я думаю, что танец это самая сложная арт форма. Dancers think the opposite. Но танцоры думают наоборот. In the same way that. Um, so actually, I, I think so. Yes, there was a time when I was thinking that really dance is the simplest thing to see because you don't <laughs> need words. <laughs> I, I, I mean, in, in terms of the so tiny, it's the same lofty art form that you like to see. But to the simple people, it's very simple. But to the simple people, it's very simple. But to the simple people, it's very simple. И, и во всех это видно. То есть ты, тебе может быть и кажется, что понятно, но ты приходишь, смотришь, да, да, да. это самое, вот это то, что... How to make it, uh, а люди не понимают, очень важно следовать. Типа, он как будто бы самая искренняя арт-форма в том смысле, что она идет как будто бы из души. Yeah, but I I understand uh, what you say when you say that each art form have their own way. Я понимаю, что то, то, что ты говоришь, что каждая арт форма имеет свой способ высказывания. And maybe you can't change that. И возможно это нельзя изменить. But you find the one person like you in theater, the one person like you in Galleries, the one person like you in um, another art form, music, for music, mm -hmm. and start with them. They are the first contact because it's too hard to try with the people that are like, uh, I have my practice, you have your practice. It's too difficult. Find people that have the same idea as you for, do you say, interdisciplinary? Yeah. yeah. Может быть, стоит начать не с того, чтобы что-то менять в этих группах, а с того, чтобы найти одного хотя бы человека, с которым тебе комфортно. Одного здесь, одного да, в музыкантах, одного тут, и начать работать с одним человеком, а не пытаться поменять систему. And if you make great work, the people who were saying no will in the future say yes. И вы, если вы делаете классную работу вместе, то в результате все эти люди, которые до этого yeah. говорили нет, не понимали, зачем они так с вами работают. И если вы в результате сделаете классную работу, они скажут, что окей, это интересно, можно попробовать вместе и сами что-то делать. But make sure you don't walk away from those people that said no. Invite them in to your practice and to your performance. И, но постарайтесь, пожалуйста, не, не отдалять от себя людей, которые не хотят с вами работать а все равно контактировать с ними и общаться, потому что всегда есть возможность, что они всегда вернутся. It's hard work. Это тяжело, конечно. Yeah, I know. I spend a lot of... Uh, so, uh, just to quickly explain, I know you don't have people um, who do my job here so much, but I spend a lot of my time doing the connection between those people and the artists. So I... Those do, people who you mean? Uh, the people that you explain are saying no. They want to do their own thing. Моя как раз работа в том, чтобы была находить вот эту связь между танцорами и другими людьми, которые пока не очень понимают, как вместе можно работать. Yeah, I understand that for an artist to do that is um, it's hard. I I do understand. Здравствуйте. Um, so. We ask the same question to both of you together, maybe, or you have you have separate ideas? 
Да, но мне очень важно просто и много перевести. Мне не важно, что не просто я делюсь мыслями, такая невероятно классно или плохо, а мне важно этот диалог, то есть, ну, вот, видеть реакцию, видеть подтверждение или отрицание своих этих мыслей. Понимание. Понимание. То есть, и самое комфортное для меня форма высказывания – это движение. Хотя сейчас я прихожу уже не только в движение, сейчас я прихожу больше театру, перформансу, к тексту. Ну, мне нравится интерпретационная часть, но больше, чем просто танец. So she said that the most important thing is the dialogue. It's a, it's a way uh, to have... It, actually, it's the same for me. When people ask me why I do this, I say it's the same as me too. Because, like, I have my thoughts, my... I don't know, I don't know, ideas, my intentions. And for me, the dance and the stage and the performance is the way to have people who probably more or less same or different, but it's the starting point for communication. It's like I can come on the stage and there are, I don't know, 20, 50 people, some of them same with me, some of them different, and they come and say, okay, I think like this, I say it with my performance. And then after that we start communication yes. about that. Yes. Or, or, in, on, or in the frames of performance. Yeah. So it's how you communicate it's as a person. Yes, yeah, it's, it's before language. Yes. It's a first. And it's second it. one, third one. I have three daughters. I have three daughters. <laughs> so I want to think about the future. And I want to think in what countries I will live after 10 years. Yeah. And I don't want to go, go somewhere. For now, I think they need to go to somewhere to Europe to develop, to study. But in the, in the background, I don't want. I want to they stay here or they come back here to live in this country. So I, I want to change something for the better. And I want yeah. not to change like here in Tottenham or somewhere like capsules, you know, of this yes. uh, performance. I want to change totally uh, no, yeah, to change the way of thinking. Yes. Yeah, her, all the doctors, they don't go to school. They just uh, have, she, Christina just found teachers and they, the teachers teach them at home because she don't like the system of education. Mm. Public schools. Yeah. But all the people that come to Tottenham are experiencing your passion, experiencing your vision, and they all go off and go to their world and spread your ideas. Yes. Те, кто действительно вовлечены и являются вот в то, что, как мы здесь живем, 
им так здесь нравится, что они уходят от мира и тоже капсулируются внутри тотема. И это классно. Again, became this isolated sure. group of people. They don't don't bring it outside. They don't walk. But they they like and they all time. They, they like to be to have this very close sure. community of people of the same thing. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I understand. But at least they they will have interactions beyond here. So they take a little piece of the the idea. Idea. And some of them also <laughs> break uh, quit the school. Это одна из вещей, чем танец особенный в том числе. Да, арт в целом So the schools in Greece, for example, in uh, ancient cities, started from philosophers. Yes, I was. Yeah, I was going to mention it. That's. It, it is a very Greek model. And, not, and the dance conservatoire model, which is not good for dance. Которая на самом деле не очень хорошо на самом деле. Because it creates silos. You said we have two. Потому что она создает вот это закрытое пространство. We have exactly the same in the UK. And the dancers that go to conservatoire training come Закрываются и видят только своих. И перестают видеть, что происходит в мире. It's not good. It's about the individual in a room and a mirror. It becomes about only the self, not an audience. Так вот, после того, как в 19 веке была дана мысль о том, что искусство для искусственности, после этого начало все как следует. Она сказала, что это начало с 19 века, когда была идея, что это для своей собственности. И это начало быть более открытым для аудитории. Да. Греческая модель это слышит до сих пор та модель, которую мы учим. Как будто искусство, которое само для себя что-то делает. Самодостаточное Do you say instrumental value? Instrumental value. Uh, okay, so we say intrinsic and instrumental. So intrinsic is art for art's sake, mm -hmm. and instrumental is for health, socialization, mm -hmm. um, and I sit in the middle. I think these two things so are not separate. искусство, одна это которое искусство для искусства только, а вторая искусство для лечения, для терапии, для социализации и так далее. И более такая. Да, и он вот как раз его позиция будет где-то в центре. I don't think they're different things. I think they're the same thing. You think they're the same? Yes, because without without one there is no other and the same. Он думает, что это вещи неразделимые, что они одновременно существуют, а одно другое. It's impossible. So they are the same thing because you take this one away, you have nothing of here. Like the poles. Yes. South pole of the. Yeah. You take the south pole. Yeah. There's no north. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I think that everything, be everything be. else is in between them. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yes, we need time to to come away from this blows. Yes. Blows the departments. We call it capsulos. Capsulos. Silo. Silo. Like that you keep grain in on a farm. Yeah. You know, like a tall thing that you. We call them silos. Silo. No, it's like something that is just for the most part of the time. Okay. So um, we are getting into philosophy. So we probably need to. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a different lecture. I would love to talk to you about that, but <laughs> not today. Okay. Uh, we have we are on question one of seven, so I will have to go faster. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it's better. I think uh, I would create something because uh, of auditory for the people who play, who watch, who give, take some minds after uh, that he sees something. Like so again, it's yeah. about changing, changing yeah. people's yeah. minds. They yeah. see the world in a different way, yeah. maybe through your eyes or through a different, different way, but yeah. It has to be about the artist in the center. Yeah. I think we're not saying, we're not trying to take the artist out of the art. I think it's important, and I will keep repeating this as we go, that the artist is at the center of creation. In any case, it's about how to keep the artist in the center of this, what they create, and it's about his own point of view, and his own point of view, and his own point of view. So, that's great. Um, and all of the, so all of those reasons um, make sense in, in, you are all interested in engaging with other people in different ways, but um, having a dialogue. So, um, that leads to the next question of, um, who are your audience and why will they attend your work? And and um, so the question is, who is your audience and why will they attend your work? The question is, what the audience is or what they think the audience is? To, yes. to be we are. as an artist. Yes. What is the question? The question is, what the audience is now, right now, or what they think. Art things. Art Who are we are think our like, audience is. We see the audience. We have our, our audience now. We yes. see we know we know who, who these people. But we think we have another audience, but we, we don't involve them now. But we think it's yeah. about what question is about you think, you think now or about our imagination. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you through this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So uh, why will they attend your work, and why should they be interested in you? Почему они приходят смотреть и почему вы им интересны? Yeah. So we've established that you are looking for an audience. So we've agreed that. Мы мы принимаем за базовую точку, что нам нужна аудитория, и мы занимаемся тем, что мы ищем. So now we'll think about who those people are. И тогда мы думаем о том, кто эти люди. So the first question that uh, that the first things you need to think about. Uh, your subject of your creation. Think about who will be interested in those subjects. Who are the risk takers? Uh, it's the people who explore. Because all contemporary art, particularly dance, is risky. Потому что любое современное искусство и там, в частности, это рискованная yeah. сфера. Ну, в смысле, для зрителей, типа, приходишь и не знаешь, интересно тебе будет это или нет. It's beyond most people's comfort zones. Это для большинства людей, это выход из зоны комфорта. So, why should I be interested in what you do and the subject matter you yeah, have chosen? For example, I might like films, but I don't go and see every film. Mm -hmm. I have particular films that I'm interested in. So um, when you're making your work, you need to think about um, what that audience may be, because that audience isn't everybody. You can't say my work is for everybody, because actually that work would be 
На примере ядерной темноты я не хочу на все фильмы смотреть, я выбираю всегда. И точно так же с танцем, как бы танец, это очень много всего. И нельзя любить любой танец, нельзя сделать что-то, что будет нравиться всем людям, которые любят смотреть танец. Это всегда выбор. Довольно сложно сделать так, чтобы всем было понятно, и задача в том, чтобы повести свою аудиторию, как будто бы путешествие через свою работу. So you're making contemporary work. Often that work can be political, and I mean political with a small d. Mm -hmm. Yes. Иногда эта работа может быть политической, которую вы делаете в некотором смысле. But it has purpose and it has power. Но есть какая-то цель. So you you need to think about who you want to be involved in that dialogue. Кто будет собираться вовлечь в этот диалог? For the first start, who who believes the same things as you? Например, это люди, которые верят в то же, что вы верите. Perhaps also there may be other people who are interested in having their belief system challenged or their world view expanded. Или, например, это люди, у которых нет такого же мнения, как у вас, но им интересно расширить свое мировоззрение или подвергнуть его некоторым изменениям. And to start with, you can look around and look for people that are already consuming that contemporary cultural offer. И вы, вы должны как будто посмотреть вокруг и найти людей, которые уже потребляют таким термином продукт, вот этот культурный, подобный вашему. И вот люди, которые ходят на современную академическую музыку, Contemporary art in the galleries. Those people that are looking for something different. And also build relationships. We've already talked about how ungenerous the art form is, but build relationships with other dancers, other dance companies, with other people working in the contemporary echelon. И также выстраивание отношений с людьми, которые занимаются тем же, чем вы, например, с танцами или с театром. And this is quite challenging, but try and share your audience with, try and share those audience around together. I know lots of people want to say these are my audience and this is my audience, but those audience don't belong to you or to them. They are just people who are interested. So try and have a relationship with that gallery and that dance company and that contemporary musician and share data so you can reach those audiences. Нужно стараться аудиторию захватывать. Да, потому что часто люди думают, что вот это моя аудитория, вот это моя, это моя, и как будто бы не хотят ей делиться. Что одна из задач в том, чтобы и своей аудитории давать возможность видеть больше и привлекать другую аудиторию, которая может быть не совсем ваша, вовлекать в эту коммуникацию и давать им больше информации. I guess you may be opinion for us. Возможно, вы есть еще лидеры мнения. Надо приглашать. Это такой известный мускикоп. Maybe you don't realize you are, but you probably are. Well known in a very small circle of people. But those circles, they are, they create ripples. Они волны создают. Эти круги все равно создают волны, и они расходятся дальше. But in get opinion formers interested in. I keep saying you and your work because those things are both important. Not just the work you make, but you as a person and what interests you and what excites and inspires you is of interest to people. 
not just the final product. И делать так, чтобы этим лидерам мнений было интересно, и опять подчеркиваю, это не только ваша работа, а и вы сами, потому что одно от другого не отделить. Люди, которые занимаются искусством, а и сами люди должны быть интересны как артисты, как личности, и тогда они будут интересны и то, что они делают. Не только их продукт должен быть интересен, а и они сами. Artists are unique, and people are interested in the way you think. И артисты это уникальные люди, и людям интересно, как они думают, что они думают, что у них образ мысли. So, these opinion formers and their friends are going to be your sales team. И вот эти вот лидеры мнений это ваша на самом деле команда продаж. I know that is corporate speak. And I, I'm saying those words intentionally. And when, I, when I'm saying selling, I don't mean that they are literally saying they're come and buy a ticket. I mean, they are... No. Yeah, yeah. 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 This person yeah. is making interesting work. You should go and see it, or you should go and talk to them. And they're telling their friends. They are creating a buzz. Buzz? Yeah, uh, like a buzz, yeah. Around yeah. your work. She creates in a word to, to have some Do you need to translate it? it? That's what it's like. These people, they create a buzz, and they all have 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 a buzz. Получается так, что эти ребята, у которых есть широкое поле своих друзей, например, ну простых людей, у них, например, там 20 тысяч, 50 тысяч подписчиков в Инстаграме, которые следят реально за их жизнью. That's for example, the people who have a lot of followers in Instagram, like 20 thousand people. Dancers, dancers, choreographers. Они, например, мои лучшие ученики. Вот они 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 мои да, и когда я говорю, ребята, вот мы делаем какую-то работу, приходите, они с удовольствием приходят сами, но никогда не будут шерить. Я говорю, помогите расширить, очень в редких случаях они шерят. И я не знаю, почему. And when, and when Christina invites them, and they have a lot of followers, they come, but yes. they don't share the information even with the followers. Even when she asks them to share. I don't know. А я думаю, знаете почему? Даже вот по поводу образу. Я, 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 я вот начала, нет, это не зависть, это страх. Объясняю почему. Потому что они находятся где-то посерединке. То есть мы там глубоко там где-то в андеграунде копаем в современное искусство, а они находятся, типа, им так интересно, что происходит в современном искусстве, но они занимаются коммерцией и неплохо на этом зарабатывают. Uh -huh. И вот их у них эта аудитория, их есть, которая как бы приносит им деньги. И вот если они вдруг принесут свою аудиторию туда, и аудитория увидит, блин, так вот там же мысль, а здесь типа ну такое. Они боятся просто потерять свою аудиторию, хотя бы часть ее. Хотя, я не знаю, это глупо и страшно. Мне тоже так кажется, но я думаю, так же, как я думаю, мне тоже кажется, это странно. You know, it's, we have the same idea. Something like that people, they do more commercial. Like, for example, uh, Alexander from my way. Yeah. He has thousands of students, and yeah. we are friends. And sometimes maybe I can invite him, and he will come. Yeah. But he will not share the information, because he afraid If that people come to see more conceptual, more intellectual work, not so much yeah. commercial, they will change their mind and they will come here. It's like again this fear of losing his own audience. Yeah. No, I get it, and that is. Um, that is of no use to you. <laughs> I, I, we have the same in the UK. We have things called. He's a private dancer. Um, we have the same problem. With the same in the government schools. The same. Uh, we, we don't have the same problem with government schools. Only the private dance schools. Who, because they are only. It's worse. Even worse than the state schools. Yeah. This. 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 Here in the state school, it's even worse. worse. Okay. So we are okay with the state school, but private dance schools, it's. They are a business, so yes, they think it's the same. You can get some sense. It's not just information. No, it's not just information. It's work. It's a job. No, it's not just information. We're not just information. We're not just information. We're not just information. I think you're right. You have to just. No, but it's about leaders' opinion. No, I know, and it's frustrating when those people that have lots of contact with people who probably will like what you're doing. 
-hmm. won't won't be your advocates, but uh, it will take a long time for that to change. So you need to find people who are already of contemporary thinking, contemporary. Um, they're interested already in. Uh, they, they are thought leaders that share the same kind of uh, world view and world outlook as you. Maybe they don't already know what you're doing and they don't understand contemporary dance, maybe, but they have a mind where they they want to make a better world and they're not thinking business. Not so much. Делиться и трудно это изменить, а принять и уйти. Может быть, дело все получается, так, та же ситуация, что у нас. Частные санкции, и школы, государственные санкции. I share your, um, your pain when it comes to this. Um, and I, I understand that there, is a, that there is more of a divide here in Ukraine between commercial and non-commercial than there is in the UK. Um, So yes, find people that are, that, uh, it's a shame people like Sasha maybe are, gonna, are not going to be your advocates. Maybe one day. Um, but there will be other people uh, that are putting on contemporary art and that believe in the art of contemporary work that can be the people that will support. Может быть, есть другие люди, которые любят современное искусство, не обязательно танцы, которые готовы, которым это также интересно, like you, такое же мнение, как у вас. You have contemporary music here in Ukraine, and there are people like yourself that um, curate that work. И, например, может быть, танцор, например, музыканты, люди, которые музыкой современно увлекаются, может быть, им это будет интересно, и они будут готовы это делать. And people like Anton need to get more followers. И, да, спасибо. Your work looks and feels like. 
and um, the kind of imagery that is congruent. No, congruent. Mm -hmm. um, that looks and feels right. Мы должны думать о том, как визуально выглядит работа и как она ощущается, как ее воспринимает зритель, при котором она. So meaning that the imagery and the text um, shares the same ethos and approach to what you're trying to say about your work. Что текст и визуальные образы соединяются вместе для того, чтобы донести ваши идеи. So it probably shouldn't be an action shot from your performance. No. Please no. What is action shot? Um, a, 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 like a photograph from the rehearsal a, on your fly. Uh, no, it okay. does not be a photograph of your repetition. Why? <laughs> this is the main thing we use. <laughs> Never. Photos and videos yeah. from rehearsal. No, it's not necessary, uh, and it's not a good way to represent your work because the photos in in this context are difficult to capture a good image. They have bad lighting, um, and they have difficult backgrounds. Difficult and not not so good backgrounds. Why? I we make it in the studio. Yeah, you you need to um, think about a photo shoot where you can represent the, represent the show in some photographic way. Yes, um, which will attract the attention of a potential audience. But it also says something about what they will, uh, the kind of ideas behind the work um, for them to come to you. For example, that is not a still from the work. Это не просто застывший образ из работы. No. Не просто выхвачено из спектакля. А у меня такое вот есть, кто-то есть. I'm going to show you some of the flies. I um, have the same um, style photos yeah. my, from my work. Yes. <laughs> Good. Because this is not about trying to say that is what you will see when you come to the performance, but it gives an idea, a flavor of what the performance will be like. But you're not, as an audience member, I'm not going, to, I can't wait to see that moment on stage who cares это это не о том чтобы показать зрителю какую-то фотографию которую он потом придёт и и узнает этот момент в спектакле как будто бы он будет сидеть и ждать о вот это тот самый момент который я видел на фотографии это о том чтобы создать в этой фотографии какое-то общее ощущение того о чём будет этот спектакль а не узнавание конкретной картинки one moment captured from a rehearsal badly and i'm not accusing you of taking bad photographs but <laughs> i have seen 25 years worth of photographs like this and i would say less than one percent have good на обычно меньше чем один процент вот этих фотографий сделанных на репетиции меньше одного процента действительно хорошие которые стоит там выкладывать они как-то привлекают зрителей все остальное это ну не потому что вы плохие фотографы а потому что потому что это не работает but we are stuck in that paradigm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but forget it, because your audience is not interested in that. If you're looking beyond a dance audience, which we are looking beyond uh, beyond dancers, we are looking at. Yes, we must more than potentially an ideal auditory dance, which is that which we have, which is that which knows us and just loves our dance. То вот эти просто застывшие картинки с репетицией, они другим людям не интересны. Они интересны только как бы тем, кто вас уже знает. То есть вот я такой, вот я этот, я вот я, я, я танцую, и так важно. So we're going to talk about some of these flyers now, and um, let you go to tell me what you think. Мы поговорим сейчас немножко об этих флайерах, и вы скажете мне, что вы об этом думаете. Каждый возьмите себе несколько штук. I'm not saying which are good and bad, because it's actually good and bad is each person has their own good and bad. That's not what I'm saying. It's just to uh, begin a discussion about um, what the, the flyer says about the question. So, so flyer is, 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 is,
maybe to make this slightly quicker, I guess, um, the yes. list of, yes. um, just very quickly, you have like, you talk in Russian between yeah. yourselves yeah. Um, about what you think, and then just feedback. So, like, take like, three minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Я не говорил Кристине заранее ничего. But she has chosen three images that aren't pictures from the dance. Но она выбрала три картинки, которые не есть картинками с репетицией. Yeah, yeah. You've chosen them as powerful and um, emotive. That's really interesting because we just talk about how not to have an image from the dance and you picked three with... But there is no any with the photos from the rehearsals. <laughs> this is from the rehearsal? Uh, from the show. Yes. From the show, okay. Yeah. Ну, то есть ты сознательно выбрала три, которые не шоу, а которые... Interesting but strange. And for me, I, I would read carefully what it's about, but it, it takes my attention and uh, I don't understand what is it, but the color and the ah, picture. But you don't understand what it is. Yeah. It's a piece of marketing and you don't understand it. Really? It's a piece of marketing. Yes, I know, but I mean, maybe the, the idea of the person who made it, the designer, was just to to take my attention and make me to read this. Because I don't understand what is it and I started to okay. be more, you know, like, I don't know if I would go to see this, but I would, I would like to know more about this. Okay. Maybe yeah. tell me about some of the other. And also, I mean, this is about your personal, um, like if I'm interested in four elements and paintings yeah. and witchcraft uh, yeah. and uh, imagery, uh, and that speaks to me, and I know that this person cares about that. And so it will be different from the case than I Yeah. It's it's very very different. Different. I like this one. Also. Oh, we're not doing like this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. It would be interesting to see because I like that pieces like that with a lot of stage set design mm -hmm. yeah. and it, it looks more kind of theatrical not just dancing thing. it's interesting for me to see this kind of works with a lot of different stage scenes yeah. and the people and the performing things so that's really interesting because that is a production shot that is a piece that is a photograph taken from the show so we talked about never to do that but interestingly as a someone who's already in uh, contemporary art, you have put all of your layers in. And the regular audience might not have all of that uh, in their heads already. Yeah. But Anton brought, has brought all of his layers, which is good, but uh, for a regular audience, they might not have that experience. Yeah. So again, just to repeat, we're not choosing what is good and bad, yeah. we're just this is yeah. Um maybe you want to talk about any of the others? Uh just uh on the space and I talk about this for the gift about it. Um like this one. Why? And you think the image on the front encourages you to open and look? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, Good. So we, we, this this image on the front encouraged um, further exploration.
And again, these these are production shots, but they're they're staged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are these are not captured in the moment. They are captured. Uh, they are set up. No, to jest nieustanne. To jest to, co gramy w tym show, to tak jak gramy na wyjście. To jest to, co gramy na wyjście. So this takes more attention, more care. But look at the results. They're, they're much better. We're not. They're better. They might be more time, but the result is better. Remember, we're not talking about trying to communicate with a, with dancers. We're talking about a different audience. Pomnijcie o tym, że my staramy się komunikować nie z dancerami, a z drugą audycją. Yeah, great. Uh, just as an aside, as an anecdote. Nie ma szkoły, nie nikt dotrze się o tym na razie. We chose not to use this. A nie wyszedł nie spodnie. On in in Dan, we we have this show, but we chose we made our own poster because this is a woman being strangled by a man. Being. Ah, there is a man. This is a man. Ah, man's hand. No, okay. Well, this isn't us. This is a, you know, a woman's hand. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's also a reminder to people um, who do know you already that you're there. It's another reminder that you are existing and that you, at this moment, have a new product. And it's also, for those that don't know you, it's the flyer is not going to change their mind. И для тех, кто для вас ну, как бы не знает вас, для них ничего это не изменит их мысль, это просто чтобы бумаги. But um, I don't want to get into advertising theory, but they say that uh, it takes about eight to ten visual recognitions before you um, will explore that product. So this is just yeah. This is just another way of discovery. It's another route to discover. Yeah. I think eventually flyers and posters. Ah, yeah. At the very least, very least, three months. Maybe more. Less than three months? Forget it. Don't waste on flyers for less than three months. I, I, I should have, that's it. Мы начали рекламировать реально после Black Orange концерта после 5 марта за полтора месяца. Ну, про флайеры я говорю. А в принципе программу мы начали объявлять в январе. The less time that you promote your work, the less audience you get. Yeah, of course. Of course. And if you want an audience, start early. So you don't have to have finished final product all the time, but start with something. So even if you start with Black Orange three months ago yeah. in rehearsal, yeah. get that information out. Even social media to start with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but get that information. I am making the work. I am restaging the yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. He's a photograph of us in the studio. Get that information out just to get people kind of going, oh, you know, Black Orange are back. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Maybe they don't know, they haven't decided on the date in three months yet because they don't know what they're doing. But they're like, oh, yeah, I'll keep that in my mind, maybe. But if suddenly two weeks before you perform, it's like, oh, I'm here, I'm going to perform on this day, it's too late. Ну, вони ще вони получають економічні ідеї фестивалю, ну проходять фестиваль, то вони їх продають уже по зниженій ціні на следующий. We talk about the biggest music festival, popular music festival here. They even started selling tickets for the next year festival at this year festival with a very low price. Exactly the right thing to do. Absolutely. We do the same for, um, we have a summer school and Easter school mm -hmm. every year. У них есть летняя школа и summer and Easter. На Пасху школа тоже там. Each year. Каждый and год. each year we sell for the following year. И каждый год на в этом году мы уже продаем because, на следующий год. You know, and during that week we sell most of our tickets for the following year because those kids are having and fun. And even, even if you have the, if you don't know the teachers, it's irrelevant. It's childminding. Я знаете, думаю, о чем? Я вот об этом тоже думаю давно, я в Бёрке, в том числе, я твои какие-то проекты, которые я уже знаю, через год будут, например. Я думаю, что это дело, вот продавать заранее, за год уже или за полгода, дело не в том, что ты хочешь вдруг на какой-то капитал, на что-то. Дело не в капитале, дело именно в рекламе. То, что ты уже продашь, то, что кто-то что-то расскажет, именно вот в том, что это начнет уже быть на вот воспринимание. Нет, это um, it's about marketing strategy. Yeah. Not about collecting money yeah. for, for the next year, year but about giving the yeah. Yeah, it's, both. Years. it's both. You can sell, but it's the same with a performance that you need to you need to indicate that you are in the process of a performance, and that at some point you are going to have a transactional relationship with somebody to come and attend your performance, but. Uh, 
then you need to stay in the mind of the potential person, whether it's a summer school or a performance, you need to be, they need to be aware of your existence and you need to keep reminding them of your existence because you know the world is a very busy place and it's very easy to forget. So, which is why um, I will talk about it uh, in soon, um, mm. about how many times you need to remind them. Yeah. So, um, we just talked about flyers. We, um, so, it's important to think what the photography and the, the copy, yeah. we talked about this yeah, one, yeah, yeah. the text, yeah. um, what they say about you and your work. Важно думать so, о том, что фотография и копирайт, то есть тексты, которые вы пишете о вашей работе, что они говорят о них. And that needs to be authentic, but it also needs to be, oh, this is a very dirty word in the UK, authentic. Uh, Аутентично это должно быть очень. Accessible. Authentic, no. but accessible. Yes. Это должно быть очень индивидуально, ну типа... Сложно и оригинально, но очень доступно. Как это сделать, непонятно. Но я никогда не хочу, чтобы это было просто тупо. Но не используйте термин. Слова, не используйте термин. Не используйте термин. Experiential, innovative. Uh, why? Bullshit. <laughs> innovative. Immersive. It's bullshit. Yeah. It's uh, it's code. It's code, and it it says. Code. It, code. It's code. For most people, those words say, this is not for you. You can try maybe things like you will feel like you are part of the action. The performance will take you on a journey. Это как будто, ну, например, как будто путешествие уведет вас в путешествие, вы почувствуете себя частью действия, больше не And perhaps maybe phrases like this work explores new movement styles and will show you movement you may not have seen before. Это, это например, или, например этот перформанс использует новые э, виды или качества движения, которые раньше мы не пробовали. Not и вы не видели раньше. This work is immersive, experiential, and innovative. Mm. I mean, those words just say, not you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you, you, you want your audience to feel included. You don't want to... The last thing you want to do is say, this is not for you. I mean, for some people, it's not for them. But don't do that in the first communication. Don't, you know, they will decide if it's for them. Don't you decide for them. Не решайте вместо них, для них это или не для них. Они должны решить, нужно им это интересно или нет. Не делайте сразу так, чтобы они прочитав это, поняли, нет, это не для меня. It's really easy for marketing to say, this is not for you. That's an easy way. Actually, you need your marketing to say, hey, take a look at this. You might be interested. То есть маркетинг должен говорить, эй, посмотрите на это, читайте, возможно, вам это покажется интересным. Yeah, make them feel that they might want to see your work. Uh, дайте им возможность почувствовать, что, возможно, им это будет интересно, и они захотят это увидеть. And I will miss the next action we're going to do, but uh, I will leave it in the paper so you can do it yourself. When it is about to Я пропущу маленькую часть, но вы это потом прочитаете в материале. But you I was going to say maybe describe your own work or a work you've seen recently in 30 words. And we're going to discuss that, but you'll miss that. Я думал, что мы каждый напишет маленькое 30 в 30 словах описание работы, которую вы бы хотели сделать, и потом мы это обсудим, но у нас нет много времени. Или сделанной уже работы. Нет, которые собираются делать. 30 words. 
So you want to reiterate no, no, no. it now? No? no, but just think about being able to talk about your work in 30 words. Попробуйте думать о том, что вы можете свою работу описать в 30 словах. She has uh, the ready description. She wants, you want to прочитать? Нет, ну я открою и мы вернемся сейчас к этому пока дальше. So, we want to reach out beyond the usual suspects. We think usual suspects. The usual. No, Обычные ожидания. Да, мы просто хотим людям, ну, которые не обычно не приходят. Yeah, I'm going to go a lot faster now. Um, So we we talked about before we talked about uh, key influences, opinion formers. Мы говорили о лидерах мнений ключевых. So they are very important to you in in helping get your message and your ideas and your thoughts out to more people. Они очень помогают тому, чтобы донести ваши идеи большему количеству людей в вашем мире. Remember that that the one-to-one -one contact, person-to-person, -person is much more important. I'll just keep going. Um, That social media is a tool and is not the end result. It's just a tool. So it replaces some kinds of interaction and allows lots of interaction quickly, but actually there is no replacing human to human. Гораздо важнее любая коммуникация лицом к лицу личная, она гораздо важнее, чем коммуникация в социальных сетях. Коммуникация в социальных сетях она часть этого, она продолжает это, но она не заменяет личное общение. И это оно гораздо важнее все равно. And with those opinion formers, always meet them one to one. И с этими вот лидерами мнений всегда важно встречаться лицом к лицу, а не просто посылать им сообщения в Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Just meet with them, meet them and talk. Yeah. Coffee. Talk about what excites you. Yeah. Рассказывайте, что именно вам здесь, что вам в этом нравится. У нас заводочки, видишь, стиль. Yeah, yes, even better. Sometimes. <laughs> Um, and I, okay. I've said all the way along, this is as much about you as it is your work. Yeah? И как я все время об этом все время вам говорю, это гораздо больше о лично о вас, чем о вашей работе. То есть вы должны быть интересны этим людям и то, как вы об этом рассказываете. You as the artist are more important than the work you make. Вы как артист гораздо важнее, чем та работа, которую вы делаете. Yeah. Okay. Личность. So remember to use imagery and copy that says this might be for you. And um, we've just talked about how flyers and posters are still relevant, mm -hmm. um, still important. I think maybe they're getting less important, but I don't think we've reached a point where we should stop yet. Uh, we have tried, actually, uh, in the UK to not do this, but uh, it did affect our reach, our sales. Yeah, yeah. So I would, I'm not sure that we are quite finished with flyers and posters yet. Yeah, it's just a way that it's not time to get away from the bookmarked production. We have tried to do this in Britain, but it's led to the fall of the price of tickets, so we don't have time to get away from it. And we talked, we talked before about where the people might be who you want to reach. And we're, we're not talking about the whole world because you can't reach those. So we're just looking to reach in that first circle around you which are the people that are interested in contemporary experiences. And we talk about where you need to find the places where you are, your friends, your close friends, where this art can be interesting, how to get away from it, where this group is, where these points are, where you can get to the presentation. So, some more work for you. You need to go to those events. You need to go to those events. Вы должны ходить на вот эти вот мероприятия, куда ходят эти люди. You need to be visible and you need to talk about your work. И вы должны быть там видимы и говорить там о своей работе. Yeah. And also... I hate meeting this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do it so beautiful. You have to this see. So good. No, it's so good. Come. It's no, no, so interesting. No, no, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Say, this is my client. This is my client. How do I show you? Like this? Do it. Never do that. Never sell your work. This is not about your work. This is about you. Okay. Never ever sell your work. Не пытайтесь продавать свою работу, это больше о вас. Не пытайтесь говорить никогда, никогда не продавать. Yeah. We are so throughout this. Hopefully, I'm explaining that this is not about selling. 
This is about getting people interested in who you are and what you do. Я все время на протяжении всей лекции это говорю, что это не о том, чтобы продавать, а о том, чтобы рассказывать людям, кто вы и что вы делаете. What you are selling is you. То, что вы продаете, это вы и есть. Yeah, that might sound wrong. Whoops. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's there. The idea is clear. Yeah. yeah. Um, so do not say, come to my show. Say, these are the things that interest me, and I am exploring these themes and ideas. Не говорите, приди и купи билет на мое шоу, а говорите, вот эта штука, которая мне интересна, тема, и я исследую ее в своей работе, как бы, и пытайтесь заинтересовать другого yeah. человека. Yeah, if they are interested, Если they... их это заинтересует, то они сами решат прийти. Yeah, that is the conversation. So you're right. It is awful to go into those situations and try and sell. Это ужасно действительно попадать в эти ситуации и пытаться продавать билеты. So I understand that you don't want to do that, and I'm saying do not do that. So just be yourself. Просто будьте собой. Be an artist. Будьте артистом. Not a salesperson. Не менеджером по продажам. Но будьте менеджером. But but still be the product, uh, the sales manager. <laughs> no, it's just be yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people don't want to buy into you, that's okay. Если люди не 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 они не хотят вас, вашу личность, то им не интересно то, что вы делаете. Да. But also when you're there at these places. Leave your flyers and posters for someone to pick up. No, but also in these places, don't forget to leave your flyers and posters. Yeah, maybe people take them. But you're not handing them out. No, don't give them to them. No, because the person might pass the table and go, "Oh, I just talked to this person." Yeah, because the chef might just come up to the table and see this person. Oh, I just talked to him. Yeah, but you haven't done this. You have not done this. No, don't give them to them. So, P to P, person to person. Yes. <laughs> I think it's cultural. Do you want to explain why that's interesting? Well, she's saying that here it's, it's a little, it is considered a little like unpolite and proprietary. Yeah. But like in the microsystems of like where I'm from, is considered actually like main building. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I think. Там где я живу, это наоборот считается основной. Yeah. Но приятно. You're right. Человек, который приглашает, приглашает, приглашает. It is different. That transactional relationship in America is very different to what we have in the UK and what you have here. And it's not about right and wrong. It's just about a different approach and a different expectation. Culture and mentality of people. Yeah. In America, people pay to be on a board of an organization. In the UK, that is like. Что еще? В Америке люди платят за то, чтобы быть в board, в совете директоров компании. В Британии то есть они платят за это. А в Британии все наоборот. And the same here. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's cultural difference. Uh, you're right. Cultural difference. Yeah. Um, so, what you need to you, to build your audience and the relationships with people, you have to be um, invested totally in what you do, but also honest in your relationships. Для того чтобы привлекать к себе людей к своей работе, ты должен быть честным в том, что ты делаешь, и очень сильно тянутым в это. Ты должен весь быть в этой работе. What to say? And they never get up again. <laughs> sit, on the, sit on the table. Yeah. At, at my work, I have a, a standing desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I work standing up. Yeah, because I fall asleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, so, finding an audience is not a quick process. It's all these things, all these different elements that, as artists, you might find annoying, I guess, or challenging, or um, problematic. But um, actually, all you are doing is communicating with more people about your passion. It's not about selling. Artists often think that it's a necessary and interesting thing to work with the audience, but it's very important. What you do is 
Это ваша страсть, это то, что вкладываете, все важно, и вот эта коммуникация, это часть вашей работы. So, invite people to be part of your world, world to be yeah. part of your process. Let them understand you and what motivates you and your ideas. Да, вовлекайте людей в то, что вы делаете, дайте им возможность понять ваши идеи, то, что вы делаете, yeah. и вашу мысль. So, that will be... Uh, I'm going to talk about social media in a little while, but just to mention it here, invite people to comment on your work online. Предлагайте людям комментировать онлайн то, что вы делаете. Show them work in progress. Показывайте им работы до того, как они сделаны. Is that the right phrase for you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, invite people into your studio. Приглашайте людей к вам в студию на репетиции. And don't just have them sat, watch and go. They actually ask them questions. What did you feel? What did you think? And mm -hmm. listen to their feedback and incorporate their feedback into your process. Не просто приглашайте их, чтобы они посидели, посмотрели и ушли, а вовлекайте их в процесс, слушайте, что они говорят, просите их прокомментировать. Но это о лидерах, да? Это же о лидерах точно. Это любых людей. Алло. I understand that that is someone else translates. Hello. I understand that. Секунду, то переводите, кто там звонит. Меня там людей встречают в аэропорту. I understand that is slightly controversial, but lots of artists think, you know, this is just me. I don't want to listen to other people, and they shouldn't influence. Well, I guess that is okay, but just do your work in your bedroom. If you want to go out into the world, you have to listen to people. Ну, это, конечно, немножко противоречиво в том плане, что мы слушаем других людей, слушаем их мнение, пытаемся его воспринимать. Но если вы не готовы слушать других людей, тогда делайте работу в своей спальне. Я не прошу вас, чтобы вы не прошу вас, но это не о том, что вы не прошу вас, а о том, что You need to keep that regular contact with your supporters and potential supporters. The conversation is what is going to keep them interested. So right at the beginning, I mentioned uh, product, uh, so performance, and then uh, dialogue, 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 information, conversation, performance. You can't just go performance. Performance. Because you have lost You know, Pre party, you know, after party. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, you need to keep like any relationship. You have to work at it, and you have to have dialogue <laughs> and communication. <laughs> like with a partner, <laughs> if there is silence, <laughs> it's going to be difficult. So, it, you need to have uh, regular dialogue, mm -hmm. and with social media, maybe that needs to be every day. Maybe just one thing, and you can set it up in advance. So it's, but have a picture. Maybe it's a picture from two years ago, but you know, like throw, you have Throwback Thursday. How to yeah. do in social? How to do it? Not knowing, you know, because sometimes I have work, and I want to. I, I have, of course, I have material to to, to bring it to social media, uh, photos from photo sets and everything. But if I will do every day, I think people will. Be, oh my God! Again, this in my in my it's again. Or how to it, it is fresh and relevant, yeah. or it's it's part of a dialogue. It's not a problem, but you're right. You have to think carefully about the conversation because if I come to you every day and have the same conversation, yeah, just like no, this, yeah. you will be bored. Of me. So you need to change, to change, and it needs to make sense in the long run. Yes. Mm -hmm. So like today, I did this, and. Um, Here's an illustration of it, and uh, I changed it from yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, tomorrow I am going on an expedition to the Viv to explore my concepts and ideas. Mm -hmm. And then show me that journey. Mm -hmm. And look, I have a picture of a tree which is inspiring mm -hmm. me to think about this. And mm -hmm. here is a picture of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because actually, for you. It's about the volume, yeah. Volume. yeah. yeah. But actually, it's about seeing. Can you understand the English? Yeah. Uh, But you can do the translate. Yeah. Okay. Go on. You go first. I will translate. Yeah. Но получается, если посмотреть на то, как любить незнакомых, где вы продолжаете, что у тебя постоянно свои работы, свои работы, 
Он говорит, что да, если бы быстрее было бы так вот разговоры вести, то просто рано или поздно это заскучит, и нужно менять. То есть, просто сегодня ты бросила, например, а то, что это будет, завтра ты написала, что типа, ты пошла в экспедицию, и вот меня это дерево там вдохновило, а потом ты сделала какой-то разговор. Ну, то есть постоянно говорить об этом, хоть и каждый день, но каждый раз говорить об этом по-разному, чтобы это не наскучило, и не просто может быть, это достало, не пойдут питания. For you, as, as creative people, that process is the most natural thing in the world. One more time. Uh, for you, as creative people, mm -hmm. that process of, oh, this is inspiring me, it's ah. taking me on this journey, and I'm thinking this. That is how you think. Mm -hmm. That is how you work. Most people do not think that way. Really? Really. And it's hard for you to understand because you're not there. But actually, they are interested in that because they don't have it. So, to you, you're saying that, you know, the social media mm -hmm. might seem boring. It's like, oh, not that again from Christina. But actually, for regular people, it's like, wow, she went from a tree to this movement here in the studio. How, you know, that journey is really interesting for people that aren't creative. I know it seems strange to creative people. Yeah, because I'm very happy to do it. We have done it with our friends, and we've been doing it for 7 years. And we've been doing it with the same things, and the most of the things that are the most important for me, the most important things that I think are 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 the most important things that I think and all the posts what for me is too much primitive from our people like oh, okay why do you do and then a, a lot of likes and a lot of comments and I don't understand how it's possible because for me it's not interesting yeah. like exactly. it's too primitive too too easy yeah but for people it's like wow and, yeah. sometimes yeah. I don't understand how it works really. no no it's true but um I think you don't you shouldn't worry about that you should just think I should I should reveal my process. I should allow people to see into my head. Mm -hmm. And if they understand the journey, they become invested in you and the piece of work you're making. Not that you're always, well, you're always making work because you're always exploring and investigating and challenging yourself. So if they, um, if they're invested in you as a person, they're probably invested in what you create. Mm -hmm. And if they have followed the creation from here, by the time you get to here, uh, they are coming to see it. Because they have been part of that journey. Получается, что мы должны забрать людей в свое путешествие, в путь создания работы. И если им будет интересно инвестировать в вас как человека, да, вот ну то им наверняка будет интересно инвестировать и в вашу работу. In the same way I said uh, don't hand out flyers in, in, in a one-to-one -one situation. If we take that into social media world, do not try and sell the show on social media. Sell ideas, sell yourself, sell process. But don't just talk about, oh, you need to buy a ticket for my show. I mean, it happens all the time, but it's, that's just marketing. And we're not talking about marketing. Because I think we, the world has moved on from basic marketing. And art is something different to that also. Art is... is и можно я еще скажу тоже, тоже, я вот год этим занимаюсь, вот последнее время. А, я отметила для себя такую штуку по поводу продавать идеи, как, как, как пользователь. Я смотрю на какое-то классное событие, мне нравится картинка. И я начинаю читать, что за это событие. Ой, клевое событие. Я не читаю, сколько это стоит, хорошо обучал. Я говорю, блин, я точно хочу покупать. Что дай? О, класс, у меня есть время, я смогу выйти из этого мира. И потом у меня пофигу, какая цена. Я ищу уже там, сколько это стоит. И даже, ну, понятно, что там не 8 тысяч, поэтому не за облачная цена, но я, в принципе, могу тысячу потратить, и 2, и 5 там прямо отложить, да, но если мне это реально становится интересно, я потрачу на это деньги. И не важно, ты, как бы, если ты пишешь, всего 100 гривен, за 100 гривен вы можете упасть туда, а это не работает. А вот когда ты там идею погружен, в идею погружен до конца, ты понимаешь, что ты заплатишь больше за это, гораздо больше, то пойти и даже будешь сам сказать, сколько это стоит, тоже мне туда попасть, сразу мне там попадет. Я постоянно такие посты закрываю. Мы рассчитываем, знаете, как 
сказала, она так и можно взять тысячу фунтов даже за билет если ты даешь людям то что им нужно то что они хотят они будут также любить вас, если вы дадите Maybe you have a thousand people that follow you. But nobody is interested. Hmm? Well, um, hopefully so. But maybe. But um, 500 online, 500 friends like this. Uh, that's a lot of friends. Maybe slightly different to that. But um, only a small amount will come to your performance mm -hmm. for lots of reasons. Maybe they don't like the subject for this one, and that's okay. Maybe they're busy on a Thursday night, so they can't come. Mm -hmm. um, That's okay. All of those things are fine. But you, the more people that you have that are interested, the more people that will see your show ultimately. Because maybe only 5% of your followers will come to your work. So you need a lot of followers. And when I say followers, I don't just mean social media. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, sorry. То есть не обязательно размер аудитории определяет, сколько людей придет на спектакль. То есть важно, кто это будет. То качество аудитории больше, чем, чем количество. Да. Но чем больше будет, ну, понятно, что тем больше. Потому что при где-то там тысячи, два, три, даже если будет, то уже как бы плохо все работает. And, and just to say again, once you have found an audience, so all the time you're looking for new audience, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but once you have found people that are interested in you, um, you need to look after them. You need to don't sell to them but you need to feed them with the, like you talked about the ideas you need to give them um, a reason to stay your friend yeah yeah Дать им, все, давать им все время причину, почему вы с ними дружите. То есть давать им все время какой-то да, какой интересный материал. Это такие же отношения, как любые другие. Это все время о том, чтобы давать и отдавать, и принимать. And replying to that comment, just in the same way we would have a conversation here. Это не только о том, что вы все время присылаете информацию, о том, что вы давайте возможность комментировать то, что вы пишете, обменивать. Have the same conversation on social media. So when you post an image or information about what you're doing today, that's not the end for you. You need to then. So that's that's your one post per day. But throughout that day, people will comment, and you need to respond. Это, конечно, берет время, но это не забирает время от вашего креативного процесса создания, а это часть вашего креативного процесса создания. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Yeah, I mean, I didn't mean the translation, I mean in terms of the concept. Yes, everybody, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to agree. Also send them direct messages, you know, that are personalized. Just for them. Thank them for coming to your show. Or, or thank them for any interaction they're having with you. Maybe, maybe you could send them exclusive clips from the studio just for them. Yeah. Make them feel special. Make them part of your world. They want to be close to an artist because they don't really understand this artist thing. If they did, they would be an artist. So they want to be close to you. They want to feel part of your world, part of your family. They want a special relationship. So as we said before, get those supporters into your studio to see your process. Maybe only each time there'll be three, four or five people. I'm not saying there's going to be 50. Yeah. But those three, four, or five have turned up to see your creation in progress or your work in progress. They are really important to you. They're really strong advocates. They are passionate. They have given their time to come and see you and be part of this world because it interests them. So those people are opinion formers. Yeah? So the people we talked about before, those people that have come into your room to see what you are and what you do are your opinion formers. They are your sales team. Go to make sure you go to other choreographers, um, studio sharings, and talk to the people that are there. Those people are also your people. It may sound like. Yeah. <laughs> Да ты что? Там потом такое рассказывают. Вы не ходите в тотем, это секта. Там детям пробывают мозги. So you you don't want to take them from that choreographer to you. What why? Uh, what you want to do is to say you like this, you might like this also. So you can do both. They will put dogs from my to me, you know, like fast. I think you also make you invite them to your share yes, and you say look. Together we have a better opportunity to survive. Because actually, if you're interested in um, the art form of dance, you will want to explore it. So the more people shared around, around more people around more companies is better. Next week we can do something like that. First time we did it. Right. So now we have a wonderful way. 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 Но я хотела так на трех уровнях, чтобы дети учились, чтобы дети ну, писали себе, чтобы учились, чтобы показали друг другу свои работы, и чтобы потусили еще просто. И я думала, блин, напишу всем, кому ну, может быть интересно. Придут, не придут. И реально отозвались даже киевские студии, которые обычно типа хавкают между собой, там отозвались и придут и покажут работы в пространстве. Это значит, что разбирается на этом случае. So whilst finding people in the first place is, is hard. And it takes a lot of work. The same amount of work needs to go into looking after those people when you have them, also. Yeah. So it's very important that you have people who are already in the studio, who are interested in what you're doing, 
то важно сохранять ней постоянный контакт и ну, проводить их дальше, как свою работу, свою работу. Ну хорошо, не так, что мы один разочек давай с тобой пообщаемся. Могу отрубить тебя, что время сделать. This is a long-term relationship. It's a marriage. Это долгосрочный брак. You need to settle in and enjoy their company. And let them enjoy <laughs> but, but whilst you're having that relationship with those people, you need to look for new people too. So it's not monogamy. Yes. 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 And um, we, we talked a little bit earlier about um, the word marketing is a bad word, but um, this is not the job of a person who does marketing, because it's about you and who you are and the artist. When you get a birthday card from your parents, you don't want it from their secretary. You want it from them. I'm just using that analogy, yes? Because it means nothing if it comes from the secretaries. In the same way, someone who, oh, I do the marketing for Zelon Pest, well, fine, that's good, go and do that. But actually, I want, it, I want Anton to write to me. I don't want to speak to the secretary. You know, I want a personal relationship. Yeah. yeah. And don't forget, because it's easy to forget, that you, as the artist, are very special. You are the most important person and the most important connection to the person that's interested in you and the potential audience. It's you. You are very special. Do you know how to translate that? <laughs> <laughs> the artist is special. So, I'm going to be reading with a wrap. We have 10 more minutes? Yes, we do. I don't want to keep you like for the whole rest of the afternoon. I know you want to go drink coffee or vodka. Or... Um, so, if we get to the actual performance itself, I'm guessing there is a performance somewhere in this journey. So, when we get to that moment, Make sure that as the artist, you are not backstage rehearsing, telling the dancers, by then it's too late. Uh, that should all be done. You need to be at the front of the auditorium. You need to greet all of the people who are coming to see your work. Introduce yourself. Some of those people you will know, some of them not, because they'll be friends of the people, but you need to be visible. Yes? Да, и, и там народ собирает там, деньги, да? Мы не должны быть за кулисами и разговаривать с своими танцорами. Мы должны быть в аудитории, на стенде, разговаривать с людьми. Э, с полтора танцами, с людьми, с аудиторией. Я не знаю, последние сколько раз там присутствовала, ну, очень ну, тяжело разговаривать. Либо у нас еще аудитория не готова говорить. Ну, я не сказала. Ну, даже приветствие, ну, вот за такие штуки. Нет, не он, а, нет ты знаешь, а у меня опыт хороший с Гоголем в этом плане. Когда ты садишься прямо напротив, и ты не вот сидишь со сцены не вещает, а там сцена вот, как бы нет этого расстояния, ты прям выступаешь, прям садишься напротив первый ряд и разговариваешь с людьми, задаешь то, как, как бы ты начинаешь, все всем начинается спектакль, все 15 дней пока утянутся, ты еще 10 минут с ними разговариваешь, что-то рассказываешь, объясняешь, и потом тихонечко, ну не объясняешь, а приводишь это к какому-то логическому завершению. Ну, о начале. О начале, а перед, перед прем. А я говорю о... Never forget um, what, a, what a big thing it is for someone to leave their house at a certain time, come to your space to see your work, and they're paying also. These are big processes that they don't, don't think that's easy. It's a big commitment, so make them feel special. Sometimes you may want to organize um, a, talk, a talk before the show um, for people that are really interested and to know more about the work. So 
uh, maybe 45 minutes before you talk for half an hour in a room like this. Also pleasurable to be to chat chat the coach start and uh, sort of get me in a shower in, in a dialogue. It this um this deepens the engagement with the audience. Глубокое вовлечение аудитории. Yeah, but make it informal. Не делайте это формально. Yeah, делайте это неформально. Um, and always, always after the show, offer the audience a chance to stay behind in the theatre. Don't get them to go somewhere else mm -hmm. to the bar or anything. Keep them in the theatre and invite them to to stay. They don't have to stay, but invite them to stay um, and talk about the work for 15 minutes. I would suggest. Um, with, with you as the choreographer and the dancers, but maybe have somebody like me or Anton who will mediate. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many we, we don't want dance to be a mystery. We want people to understand it. I don't mean the way that they understand it. Yeah, because dance is a strange thing for a lot of people. Um, you know the process because it's a lot of blood, sweat and tears in a studio. And then suddenly you open a curtain and it's like, ta-da! And it's like, well, how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't know. They think like, have you just made that up now? I mean, lots of people think that. Like my grandma, she said, it's like, you jump and you, you pay for that? I'm like, yes. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why yeah, do you yeah. pay for it when you don't jump? In? Which is why that journey is so important. Yeah, that, that they understand how this moment happened. But it's not about it being a mystery. It needs to be a... They need to understand it. You understand it, so why shouldn't they? Mm. You're asking something of you. You shouldn't ask them for something that you're not giving. But, but, yeah. Mm. And even if only a few people, three or four people stay for the talk after the show, that's great because those are the people that are really interested in you, and they will become your family. Yeah. So, uh, whilst this isn't a discussion about social media, we talked about social media a lot. Um, so, uh, I'll just talk a little bit about it now. Um, social media is is ubiquitous. Is everywhere. Yeah, and it's it's just a tool. It's just a mechanism. It's not the thing. Yeah. It's just another way to have a conversation. So you need to choose the social media that it's right for you. So it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You choose. I'm not telling you which to use. It needs to feel right for you. Yeah. Um, but as I was saying before, you need to keep all the material fresh, post every day, and respond to comments. Don't just let them go. So, you know, in rehearsals, make sure. Your audience, apart from the ones that are going to die soon, um, the old ones, your audience live on social media. Наша публика, в отличие от тех, кто скоро умрет, которые уже слишком стали для этого, в основном живут в социальных сетях. to make their own videos also. Maybe the dancers record themselves in rehearsal, but also maybe they do some, you know, like at the end of their rehearsal day, they re record 30 seconds of like, oh wow, I had a great day, or like, oh my God, I'm so tired, but it's been so rewarding. You know, get the dancers to talk, not just you, not just representation, but a real person having a discussion about the work. 
so like you know yeah it's such an exciting day and we made five minutes of material and whatever you know it's it's about people having a, a dialogue mm -hmm. i keep repeating this over and over again dance should not be a mystery to people they should understand it mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not talking about understanding what every gesture yeah, is of course. It's not ballet, but it's about understanding the process and understanding the intention yeah. and give away little snippets you know let people see the actual snippets their little moments yeah um let people see the real work and i would also say again i'm going to be controversial post the whole show online <laughs> it's not the same experience people will not watch it online and say i don't want to go and see it live now and if they do so what or we, we do live on live stream, yeah, but it's all fine. The more people that engage in your product, the better it is going to be for you. Because they might watch it online and go, I want to see that. Mm -hmm. The live experience is completely different. It's a completely different experience. So we have television, we have home, home cinema, and all those things, yeah? At home, we have a big TV, we have surround sound. It doesn't stop people going to the cinema. More people than more people than since the fifties are now going to the cinema since the nineteen fifties. Yeah, mm -hmm. because they mm -hmm. want a communal experience. They want to share that experience. So put your whole show online. Do not be scared. Yeah. Ну я, например, даже драматисты сказать, даже вот, вот типа, как бы даже смотреть не хочу. Тяжело, поэтому извините, я скучаю. Мы же дополнительно делать, не просто специально. Ну вот мы типа, да, да вообще. Вот, но, но не спектакль. Ну, в смысле, очень делать надо спектакль. Нет, имеется в виду, что это все равно не тот же опыт. Я даже не уверена, что кто-то будет досматривать надо до конца. Да, но... не They'll scroll through it and look at moments. They'll watch one minute, a bit more, watch another minute. That's cool. And next time they will come to see it. Maybe. Or maybe the time after. But that's okay. Because until you, you have to start that relationship, you need a first date. Without a first date, there's no second date. У нас все наши спектакли есть просто хорошо сняты с трех камер. Или выкладывать не выкладывать камеры, камеры выложили. Это ну кому-то надо будет выкладывать. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. It's about because he always told me like we need to put it in the internet or or poll poll work. I'm like for what? Nobody see. Nobody watch this. It's old. It's bad. It's trash. He said, let's go. I said, okay, do it. Yeah. But this, you know, it's. Because you're an artist, it's you think you know, you do think differently, and for you it's gone, it's finished. You yes. want to move on, yeah. but actually, a, a general audience is still really interested in what you made two years ago, mm -hmm. five years ago, because they want to understand that journey. Yeah. Yeah. They want to understand you, how you think, how you, what interests you. Well, just just that, just that, you put, 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 Просто я не думаю, насколько можно спектакль снимать. Кусочки, говорит, можно куски выбрасывать просто за что-то. А можно да. даже с комментариями, что типа вот, когда я не знаю, да, там вот я подумала, а, вот я что-то вот там тогда-то переживала или там что-то. Я да, с этим работала. Да. Если еще, если, например, прям сделать как с комментариями, но это же интересно же. Mm -hmm. Меня бы это заинтересовало, да, вот чувак там или там думал поменялось. Да, это интересно, очень интересно. It's interesting how you transform from true time, you know, how you transform yourself to true time. I think it's interesting even for you. Exactly. Yeah. To see how you transform like this, not like here. Это продолжение идеи о том, что ты как артист интересен, и как бы твои идеи дадут тебе какие-то идеи, которые нужно, да, нужно выложить шоу, да, я вот это делала, 
И вот я это как бы чувствовала, то есть, ну, поддерживая идею, что я артист, я интересен. Это у меня мысль это была, когда у Антона я пошла на... Да, на вечер к Антону пошла, на Black Horror, yeah. когда он видела там вечер. Кайпицентр And it actually, you can see, oh, that, that's why I'm who I am now, because of this because journey now, yeah. I have been on. This steps, yeah. And this is why it's interesting for others to see that artistic journey mm -hmm. uh, uh, and to understand you more. So I'm going to summarize now, because I think we're done. Mm -hmm. We're done. Um, so I know that finding an audience is hard. And um, it's a challenge. And it takes a lot of work. But it will reward you because those people will be there when you need them to be. Whether that is at a performance, at a sharing, they're advocating for you. Advocate, yes? Uh -huh. yeah. Your sales team. Um, and what will start as a very small group will grow and grow if you feed them. Like a, like a plant. Uh -huh. If you feed it, it will grow. So it starts very small. It starts with just a seed. And that's okay. Just a few people that like you and your work will grow and grow. And don't forget to make work that, um, that you think will have a dialogue with an audience. So uh, think of subject matters that are important to you, but maybe important to more people as well. Don't think really subject matters that only have very small interest, because mm -hmm. Your audience will then be very small. I mean, that's okay if that's what you want to do at that moment, but that is also going to limit the opportunities to get more people. But don't forget to make great work, however many people it is for. You want to make really high quality, engaging. Не забывайте, что работы должны быть хорошие, вовлекающие аудиторию, качественные и интересные. Это тоже важно провести маркетинг. So, <laughs> I make sure you put yourself out there in the world, that you're having dialogues, you're having conversations, you're using social media, that you are revealing your process, which I know is very difficult for artists sometimes, and it's revealing your soul sometimes, because your work is very personal, but get used to doing that, because people want to see into your soul. They want to understand, they want to, they want to have that experience with you, so share everything you can. So, that is me done. Um, that has been a very interesting two hours. Thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate having the, the dialogue with you and sharing my little bit of experience um, with you. It's not, uh, this is not like the Bible. You know, you, it's up to you to take what you want and to leave what you don't want. That's okay. Um, I'm just giving you a little bit of what I what I've learned in my 25 years of working in dance. But you know, we have grown an audience from zero to you know 180 for every show now, at least, and lots of shows sell out. So we've gone on quite a journey. And my passion is my passion is connecting artists and audience together. That is why I exist. That is why I go to work every day. I love dance. Well, at least personally, I, 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 I love Ukraine. I, love I would love to be here. Yeah. 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 It's a great place. You're in a country that is, that is growing and changing and developing. And, you know, there's a great opportunity for you here. I know it's harder. It's harder here than maybe in the UK. Of course it is. But, you know, artists have a lot to say. Have, you are part of the future of this country, more so than the UK. The UK is an old and tired democracy. Here you're emerging, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. It may not always feel like that, but, you know, it's, yes, <laughs> the future is here. Right? And we need to create a future for um, everyone's family to exist in a, in a, in a place that is eccentric and challenging and different and questioning and that has um, creative and cultural kind of artistic journey for everybody mm -hmm. because that's what makes us human ultimately is what makes us um, who we are it's not 
going to work doesn't make us, you know, in an office does not make us who we are. Mm -hmm. It's about the experiences and the conversations and the creativity that makes us who we are. And that is for everybody, not just artists. That is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Going to the office does not define you. Your experience defines you. Знаешь, человек, который умирает от тунги, такой, а что не так, что не так, ты такой привычный для лица, сожри это, тебе это надо. And we will yes. also discuss, <laughs> of course you will, of course you will, and we will also discuss the interdisciplinary, some approaches, and some, yeah. and maybe we will also hear some of your opinions about what you saw here. I, well, yes, but it's just one opinion. What? You have, you want to, to share it now? <laughs> no. I, I don't think my opinion is, is oh. irrelevant, really. but anyway, it's interesting. I mean, yeah. But I look forward to the panels, and I, again, I'm not the artist, though. I'm the person who joins the dots. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm happy to have that conversation. I will talk about dance and arts, like, forever. Uh, can I ask so. a few more questions? Of course.